Welcome to News with Brett. Today is November 2nd, 2010, and it is polling day. It's the day where we as citizens can vote and feel like we're in control, when in fact we're not. I went to go vote after looking up my polling place on Facebook, and when I got there, my name was not on the list, so I couldn't vote. So I looked up a phone number they gave me, I called it and they said I had no record of being registered, which is funny because I registered in March when I moved. So I should be registered, but I'm not. I then pressed zero to talk to an operator and the lady pretended as though she could not hear me. She kept saying hello. And I know my phone was working very clearly in fact. So I hung up and I went to work very frustrated and I thought to myself, is there a conspiracy here? Did somebody steal my voter registration form to prevent me from voting? I was mad. Well, I called another number and I found out that I can vote provisionally. So you better believe I will be voting today. And you should too. And if you haven't, you have, I believe, until 7 or 8 o'clock today. So find out where you're supposed to vote. Even if you haven't registered, vote provisionally. Do it. Do it. And when you vote provisionally, make sure to fill out your voter registration form and make sure you only do it in one polling place because otherwise that's illegal. Oddly enough, today I wore this new sort of shirt sweater thingy and one of my coworkers is wearing the same exact pattern, the dark navy and the white stripes. So we took a picture together. Other than that, I have no real news to share except that I have this really old water bottle and I think I need a new one. I just want to wish you a good day. I know I'm having one, and I hope you have one too. And the interesting thing is, I just said that twice. I wished you a good day, and then I hoped you had one. Kind of stupid. But it's my finishing tagline, so I can't change it. And if you don't have a good day, at least go out and vote.